guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am back with my before the pen spread for November 4th through to November 10th where I use the Home Body sticker book. Love the look of this, but the thing is it's so hard to get all of that green foil in here. So I'm going to show you how I fill out my spread for the week. One of the first things I do is fill out this section here for my workout. So I'm going to go and draw a grid and the grid is normally about 20 squares long because I need about four squares per per cell, I guess. So one, so it's just exact if I'm counting it correctly. Yep, exactly 20. So one, two, three, four, and then move down here. All right, so that grid is done. So now I fill it in with the workouts that I'm gonna do for the week. So, move this up here, Monday. So I will try and work out every morning. And I, I mix workouts from Sydney Cummings, the channel I follow on YouTube, and I mix it with a bit of cardio. So she's got a mix of great strength training as well as cardio, and she comes out with a different video for workouts every day. Friday and I do my workouts from the comfort of my own home I don't go out to a gym or anything because one I hate I'm lazy I hate taking the time to go to the gym but two it's expensive so why go to the gym when you have workouts at home for free okay so this section up at the top here I'm gonna use for meal planning and then for buying any groceries this won't be where I keep my grocery list, so this is just for extra things that aren't encompassed by the meal plan. So now move into my list for the week. And in this top section here, I keep track of my schedule for the week. So I'll just write down the days and Sunday, then write in my schedule. It's nice seeing my schedule all in one spot. Woohoo, I'm off Friday, which is my usual day off. And then I also booked Sunday off because it's the uh, day after. Super, super awesome event. Now I'm gonna go in here and write down my tasks for the day. Now I haven't decided whether I want to do a uh, mild liner or if I just wanna add in the black. If I do mild liner, I could just do gray again. I think I might do gray. So checklist in here will be, oh yes, gray is always good. And then, oh, there's always laundry, always laundry. Then Tuesday, I like using the mild liners because they don't bleed through. So this one I'm gonna really have to, cabinets and appliances because I realize the leaf is in the way. Dust, meal plan order groceries, and mop floors. I think learning by this, I'm not gonna put my list like that because it really cuts out the room that I have to write. Then Wednesday, usual garbage day. Then I have to do the baseboards. These are the tasks. The ones that I do on Wednesdays are the ones that I do once a month and then workshop prep. Then Thursday will be grocery pickup from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. No major plans that day really. Then Friday will be 10.45 WW and then at about 11.45 lunch with Mavis since I'm not seeing her on Thursday. 
Then Saturday. Wow, that's shaking a lot. I'm sorry, guys. Saturday, the normal kids' routine of gymnastics. Robin's missed choir the last few weeks, but I think that's okay. And I think, you know what, Rob can take her to choir and then pick her up after. And then that evening is super fun. I look forward to this every year. The Rocky Mountain Food and Wine Festival. Yes! And I have the day off on Sunday, so I'm actually staying over at my sister's that night. And then coming home Sunday. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and show you what that looks I like. I love the gray in that. It matches really, really well. The gray, I think, just gives it a nice touch. All right, but that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's now Monday, just checking off what I have done. I have done the bathrooms and I did do, well, I say do laundry, but I put in a new load and I put away the old load. So that's done. Then in terms of my workout, I did do the 30 minute full body hit and 30 minutes of cardio. So satisfying highlighting that as done. Perfect, all right, quick and easy for Monday. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's now Tuesday. So again, checking off things off my list. So I did cabinets and appliances. I did not dust. Sometimes I just get lazy and that's okay. Um, I did do my meal planning and I ordered groceries and my husband will mop the floors this evening. But I do wanna add something in there. I did, how often does this happen? That in one day you were able to put clothes and all that in the laundry, put it in the dryer, fold it and put it away. That all happened in one day. That's amazing, I need a sticker for that. Now I'm gonna show you how, oh, first of all, before I do that, highlight the fact that I did do my 60 minutes of cardio. Excellent. And then I'm gonna show you how I use this portion to meal plan for next week, so I'll zoom in. So this portion normally takes up my meal planning, so I do, I'm just trying to count Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then here I will put lunch. So Friday will be movie night because I'm not here on Saturday because Saturday is the Rocky Mountain Food and Wine Festival. Food and wine, super excited. Sunday, we haven't decided, and sometimes it's okay to leave it up in the air like that. Might order in pizza, see how you feel. Or maybe it could be just order in. Monday, yum and yummer chicken pot pie chowder. Oh, this is not enough room. Tuesday, we are having oops, grilled chicken souvlaki, grill chick souvlaki. And normally when I'm meal planning, these two dinners normally make up eight portions, which is enough for my family for two nights of meals each. So this one will be leftover, so yum and yummer chicken pot pie chowder and Thursday will be the yum and yummer grilled chicken souvlaki. Now my lunch is also from the yum and yummer cookbook and it is the, what did I have it written down as? The spicy chili lime grilled shrimp. Wow, it's a mouthful. Spicy chili lime shrimp. And I'm gonna have that with couscous or quinoa, I haven't decided. Perfect. Then in terms of the things that I need to add to my to buy list, I do need to buy some more vitamins. I do need to buy floss. And then for anything else that comes up in the week, I will add it here. All right, so that is it for today. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now 
Thursday. I did skip Wednesday, but just wanted to go into what I've done. So Wednesday, I did do my upper body and my cardio. Oh, again, so satisfying. And then today I also did my 60 minutes of cardio. Love it. And I'm gonna check off that I did the garbages, the baseboards, and I did do my workshop prep. Did pick up the groceries today. And then Robin and I had a nice little date as well. So date with my daughter. So she loves this little bakery in Edmonton called Duchess and they opened up a new location. So we went and had macarons, she had a hot chocolate and I had an Americano. So, so good. But that is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is now Sunday. Sorry to skip the last couple of days here, but just gonna go into Friday. I did do my workout. And it was actually nice to have a little bit of time in the morning and not have to rush to going to OK Tire again, which is what I've done the last three weeks. So I did go to Weight Watchers and then I had lunch with my good friend Mavis and then I just spent the rest of the day relaxing. On Saturday, the kids did go to gym, but Robin did not go to choir. And then that evening, I went to the uh, Rocky Mountain Food and Wine Festival, which was amazing. We... Um, me, my brother, and my sister, um, and normally with my dad, go every single year. This year, my dad is currently uh, doing a cruise in Europe with my mom. So uh, it ended up being me, my brother, and my sister. And then um, we brought my brother's girlfriend as well. And it was such actually, actually such a fun time. I uh, recommend, though, actually doing a little bit of research beforehand. So what I did was... Um, I went through all of the wine vendors and all of the liquor vendors and things like that and I picked the ones that I liked so I like a sweeter type of wine so I went with like Moscatos and Rieslings and um, I added a couple of ports in there as well and then I put them in order of vendor number and it just made the whole experience so much better because I wasn't wandering around going do they have a Moscato? Do they have a Riesling? And then at the end of the night when we had tickets left over, I'm like, well, I really liked this wine by this vendor. I'm, I know exactly where they are. I'll go there. So highly recommend doing that for a um, for an event like that. But we've been going for years, like years upon years. So we kind of have our system down. And then today, um, well, last night I slept over at my sister's house. Um, so my husband and kids did the vacuuming and the windows, but then I went for brunch with my sister, my brother, and his girlfriend at uh, Little Brick. There's no room here. And it's just been a really relaxed day. Like as soon as I got home, I just got back into my robe because it's so cold today. It was like minus 15, but it felt like 20. Minus 20. All right, but that is my spread for the week. I've been feeling kind of like meh, but today I think just because I've been so relaxed and, and I've had a day off today. So otherwise, fantastic week and I love looking back on this spread. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.